All right, guys, today we are talking about this chip right here. Let me see if I can bring in better focus for you. You can see what that reads on it. It's kind of hard to see, huh? There we go. This is a 74HC595. That is a 16 pin shift register. It's an 8 bit serial in parallel out shift register. Works from 2 to 6 volts and it has three states. And today we're going to use it to drive a seven segment display. Now, this is a common anode, I mean, common cathode display, which means the grounds are all common together. So I'm only using a 220 ohm resistor on those grounds. Now, let's talk about the hookup for this thing because it can be a little, a little bit confusing. We have the uh, pins on the chip. These are our, our output pins down here and they're labeled B, C, D, E, F, G and H and this is a ground pin this is an H prime this is our latch register clock register clock and then we have the serial and finally over here we have another uh, output and our VCC So let's start hooking this thing up. This one goes to pin four. So we count here one, two, three, four. This one goes to pin three. Uh, this one goes to pin 5. And this one, which is the dot, goes over to pin 15. This one goes to pin 2. This one goes to pin one. This one goes to pin seven. Can't get my fingers in there. And this one goes to pin six. Okay, so we've wired up our seven segment display here to the shift register. But how does that really help us? I mean, what's, what is the point of doing this? Well, the point is instead of needing a minimum of nine pins from your Arduino to drive this, we can now drive it with three pins. This one here, is our clock pin. This one here, which is our output enable pin. And this one here, it's our latch pin. Then we need to give it some power. That's here on pin 16.
and a couple of grounds. Pin eight. One other one that gets a ground. Oh, yeah, 13. 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 gets a ground. Then I will. I'm just tying our grounds together from one side of the board to the other so that we can use them both. Then we need to bring in an Arduino. I have to keep counting so I don't lose track of my pins. 9, 10, 11, 12. This guy here goes to 12 right here. And goes to 11 and to pin number 8. Then all we need to do is send it 5 volts. And a ground. A lot of wires there but it's not very difficult. You just have to follow a schematic. Believe me, that didn't come out of my head. So now we can drive this using just three wires out of our Arduino. So that means you can drive this from a Pro Mini or an ESP8266, anything where you can get three outputs, you can drive this. Let's go over the computer and take a look at exactly how we're going to do it. Because we're going to do it using the shift out command. And we're going, to, we're going to send a decimal data that will be converted to binary. Alrighty, here is our code for the HC, 74HC595 shift register to drive a seven a segment LED display. We're using uh, three pins from the Arduino. Pin number 12 is our latch pin, which we need to hold low while we're transmitting data. And then we send it back high when we're done. Our clock pin. And our data pin. Now you can make these pins whatever you want on the Arduino. It doesn't matter. This is just kind of what I'm using here. And what we're going to display are these hexadecimal values. Now to do that we've stored them all in this array called data array for a data array and it has 16 places. Each place is separated by a comma. And each of these numbers, these decimal numbers, refers to a binary number. Now I'm going to show you how that works right now. Alright, here is our digits over here on the left. Here are our decimal values. And here are our corresponding binary values. So our first digit, digit zero, remember we have our seven segment display like this. We're going to send it a binary value or a decimal value of 252. 
which equates to binary 11111100. So it will light up this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Those are all the ones. And then the zeros are that middle piece and the dot. Then for digit 1, decimal 96, binary 11000000. It will light up this one and this one. See how it works its way around? If you do this long enough, you can get good enough to tell which segments are being lit up just by looking at this. All right, back to the code. All right, so you see how the binary numbers work to light up the different segments for the different digits, okay? So our setup is simple. All we have to do is set our latch clock and data pins for output. And then we're just going to count up to 16 over and over again. So the first thing we need to do since we're about to transmit data is send our latch pin low. That tells the 74HC595 that we are about to send data, so prepare. Once that's done, we're going to actually send the data using the shift out command. See, shift register, shift out, get how it works. So the first thing we send it is the data pin. Then we send it the clock pin. And then we need to tell it what to send first? In which direction are we going to send this data? This is most significant bit first. You can also send at least significant bit first. We're just going to stick with most significant bit first. And then we're going to send it the data array and the number. So when it starts out from zero, it's going to send the code for zero, which is 252. Remember that little chart we did so you know which that is? All right. So then it goes back through. Next time through, it's going to be 1. So it's going to send the data array number for 1, which is 96. After each time, it sends the latch pin high. That tells it to stop listening. And then we'll just wait for one second to slow things down. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Let's take a look at it in action. All right, we have everything hooked up here. So hopefully when I apply power, it's going to work and I won't look like a chump. And there it is. Counting merrily away. And that is the Arduino sending those decimal values to the shift register serially, one bit at a time, like kind of like think like Morse code. And the shift register is outputting them to the seven segment display. It's pretty simple. There, there are a lot more complicated things you can do with this. For instance, driving two or more of these. But... Um, We'll look at that next time. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the uh, shift register and using it with your Arduino. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share it. Feel free to comment. I try to answer every comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? If you subscribe, you'll know every time I pop up one of these new videos, which is at least once per day, sometimes more. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.